The Cybertruck is trash, and Elon flips a bird. Apple is falling apart. Oh, a Fallout movie. Hey, this is a good one. Ugly Sweaters by Microsoft. Well, that's a lot to cover this week, guys. Let's dive in. Tesla's Cybertruck has been officially released, and Elon Musk allowed a few lucky owners to drive home straight from the event that took place. But not everyone seems to be happy. First of all, there's that price. Instead of the $40,000 promised during the original event back in 2019, yes, that one, the new price now starts from $50,000 US dollars for the Face Read Drive model, which will be available in 2025. But if you need one now, Tesla will gladly sell you an all-wheel drive model in 2024 for just $69,000. And if you want to show off in front of your EV pals, well, they've got the Cyberbeast model for just a mere $96,000. I see what you're doing, Tesla. I see what you're doing. Go yourself. Is that clear? But that's not all. The problems don't end there. The future should look like the future, they said in the events video, and then proceeded to produce one of the worst assembled cars I've ever seen. <sighs> Maybe if you look at this thing from 20 steps away, it looks great. But once you get closer, all those panel gaps, the tailgate level, and things we thought automakers ironed out decades ago somehow infest this vehicle. In Tesla's defense, they are not a car maker known for good assembly quality in the first place, but at least some effort would be nice. Or maybe they should stick to cat beds and ice cream spoons instead. Go yourself. Are you going to be buying the new Cybertruck? Let's chat about it in the comments. You thought Tesla was making bad moves? Well, Apple is in the news again, and for two different reasons. First, and this is the big one, looks like Apple has failed to develop its own 5G modem and decided to wrap up the operation after buying Intel's 5G division and heavily investing in it for many years. No, instead they decided to go back to good old Qualcomm, which, may I remind you, was the sole reason Apple started looking into its own 5G modems after Qualcomm wanted to increase the cost. How does that sound for saving money? Yeah, I feel like someone's gonna get fired over this. The second reason they're in the news is less surprising to me personally, because I accepted Apple's pure evil intentions to cash in on zealots long ago. Four systems made MacBook Air to outperform MacBook Pro while both were running on the M2 chip. To do this, Floor outfitted a regular MacBook Air with their custom cooling solution, and the results were astounding. If you didn't know, the MacBook Air has no active cooling system, as it's one of the thinnest laptops ever made, and if you decided to, I don't know, game on it, you would catch it out of breath in a half hour or so. However, the Floor cooled unit kept going and ended up outperforming the stock version of the M2 MacBook Pro by four seconds in Xcode test, while showing consistent results in Cinebench. This proves, once again, that by paying more for the MacBook Pro, you're practically buying the same MacBook Air fitted with cooling fans. But don't rush to buy a MacBook Air just yet, as this was an experiment to demonstrate Floor's ultrasonic cooling system and practical application in tight spaces like the MacBook Air body. I bet Apple will only start seriously considering putting something like that in their computers by 2030, if we're lucky. Mark your calendars! The Fallout TV series is set to release on April 12th next year on Amazon Prime. We already looked at the leaked pre-screen a couple of months ago over here. And now there's a note in the script that says to point at the top corner on the same side that I do at the end. So I'm pretty sure that's over there. So it's over there. And after seeing it in full quality, I really hope it'll be as great as they promised it's gonna be. Rad roaches, the Yao Guai, the Brotherhood of Steel, ghouls, robots, and many other characters look just the way we imagined they could when we were playing the game. For those of you that don't know, 
The story takes place 200 years after the apocalypse, and, same as in the games, a Vault 33 adventurer emerges into the wild and hostile world to see things that they could never have imagined. Will Jonathan Nolan in the director's seat and Todd Howard, the creator of the series, manage to pull this one off? We'll find out soon! What do you think the story's gonna focus on? What parts of the Fallout lore could it be about? Let's chat in the comments. If you're struggling to choose what to wear to your grandma's Christmas dinner, then why not wear something everyone will recognize? Microsoft has released their 2023 ugly sweater with the iconic Windows XP wallpaper. Just make sure you're a small size as everything else has been sold out at the time of filming this episode. What would your epic ugly Christmas sweater look like? Give me some ideas in the comments. If you want to learn more about the news we covered, all the links are in the description. And while you're down there, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you stay up to date. My name's Alex, and this has been your ShareByte News. And if you've missed any of our previous videos, make sure to check them out over here. I'm pointing to the same side of the screen that I did earlier when the note said to point to this side of the screen. So if it's wrong, they can just take this, this, this uh, video of me and they just flip it, you know, just mirror it. But it's probably over there. Probably.